Good morning, guys. I am outside of Goodwill. I'm headed into Goodwill because the kids have been asking for more board games and this is typically where I come because I can get them for cheap. And if they break them or lose pieces, I'm not spending $20 for a board game. So I'm gonna head into Goodwill, see what I can find. I also wanna see if they have um, some shorts for Tank and Samir since the warmer months are coming and they're kind of, they haven't really grown too much. I feel like they're still very slender kids, but their shorts are kind of going a little bit up higher above their knee than I would like. So I think it's time to try to look for maybe a size up. So I'll look and see what they have, see what colors sales they have going on and what we can find. So let's go inside. These chairs are actually pretty cool. And 25 bucks. They just need cushions. Hmm. They are jamming old school in here. freaking bag my kitchen is dirty don't worry we're gonna clean that but isn't this bag so cute so i don't know if this is all good bowls that are like this now where they don't have bags they do not use plastic bags anymore so if you go in there and shop you have to carry all your stuff out uh but they sell these reusable bags for 99 cents how cute is that and i love these type of bags because Whenever we go somewhere, if we're going somewhere for the weekend or overnight, or if we're out going to the park or in the summer, like beaches and stuff like that, these bags come in handy to carry all the stuff. So 99 cents. They had like a couple different styles and just as good on the side, but I got the bag to carry everything because I was like, there was no way I was juggling and carrying all this stuff out of the store. So I did get the kids three board games. I got... Whew, this frozen surprise slides they were only a dollar 84. i thought tank would really like that he's really into the board games where you like spin and you kind of get your chance to go i got checkers like look at this this is like an old school checkers this thing looks older than me it's giving me just like all the 90s vibes and you know what when i was in goodwill they were literally playing like all the 90s cuts if you guys heard that song when i first went in and i was just like okay and then the next song was like a good one. And I said, man, they're in there jamming. And there were older uh, ladies that were working. So I, was, I told them when I checked out, I said, I love the music choices. But I got checkers. I want to teach them how to play checkers because that's just something you need to know. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever played checkers with the boys. We've played Connect Four and like some other games from my childhood. But checkers is one that we haven't. They had chess, but I'm going to be honest. I don't even know how to play chess. I should learn. My brother's really good at it. But I also got apples to apples, the junior one. This one is $1.84. I think, yeah, all of them were $1.84. So I got that board game. This one actually looks like brand new, like the people never used it. 
go to Goodwill and get your board games, you guys. That's where I, I always go. This time they didn't really have the best options, but I've gotten so many board games. And why pay 20 bucks, 25 bucks, $10 when you can pay $1.84? And especially if you have little kids like me, I feel like they lose half of the pieces of the game. And then I'm going back and I'm rebuying the same game. So I think about like two, three years ago, I got smart and I started going to Goodwill to get board games. I did find these washable kids paints. These were only $1.62. So I got two of these. These are mostly for taking some air. After school, we've been coloring a lot and then the evenings before bed. So this washable paint, I said, oh, this would be fun for them too. And $1.62, that wasn't a bad price. They had tons of them, if you saw. I got that picture frame, uh, just says I love you more than all the stars in the sky. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. It's kind of giving me like baby vibes. And if you guys uh, looked at my community posts, I shared that my brother and his wife are expecting a baby. This just gives me like baby pictures with them. I think I might give this to them. I did I already get them another frame that I found. Anybody else feel like when there's a baby being born, you just like can't stop buying baby stuff? They had a lot of stuff in there, but I said, you know, I can't. I'm on a budget. I went in here for shorts for the kids and board games. I'm not going to deter, and I did really good. The old Amber that didn't stick to budgets would have went in there and spent over her budget, but I controlled myself. I did good, you guys. <laughs> but I got Samir these red polo shorts. You guys know Samir, his favorite color is red, and 262. I got him those and then I got him and Tank were the same size so I don't do like oh this is only for one or the other that's the joy of them being in the same size I can buy multiple things they're both gonna wear it I just got these pattern shorts all the colors that were green the green tag was half off so these were only a dollar something for these shorts I like those shorts I mean that style is not really in but boys it's so hard to find for I thought that these were freaking cute. And I know like this checkered pattern is very trendy right now, but these were only 262. I wish they would have had two pairs. These are actually from Walmart, um, but they kind of feel, they're really light. So, you know, in the summer when they're running, they're gonna be like sweat, um, sweat resistant. And that pattern, how cute is that little checkered pattern? And then I got this gray, grayish color shorts. I don't know what brand this is from. Walmart as well. They were 262. I think that was, oh my God, more. I was like, I thought I got another pair. Then I just got these black ones. These look a little big. Oh, they got a drawstring, so good. But I got this black pair. So I think I got five pairs of shorts for them. I got this hat and I know like this, uh, those patch style hats are very trendy, like trucker hats right now. I saw this hat and I thought it was so cute. It was only 310 and it just says mama and it has those patches put on it. So cute. And you guys know I love me a good cheetah leopard print. Super cute. Then I got this dress. I love dresses in the summer. I think what I'm gonna do on Instagram, if you guys follow me there, I'm gonna do like a Goodwill try on haul with the stuff that I just got. But this dress, how cute is this? It's long and flowy. I hope it's not too big, it's extra large. I wish they would've had a large, I'm just nervous that it might be a little big, but if it is, I probably will just give it to my mom, but it's long, it's flowy. I don't know if you can tell, but down here it has where it kind of flows and it has that uh, that cut in it, the slit. So it like opens, but it, this is my type of dress. And it does have a belt too that you can tie around it's just so long it was it fell out and then i got this romper this is so cute so that's the front i love a good romper but look at the back how freaking cute and it just ties and then the front that front detail there super cute this was 788 the dress was half off so it was like four bucks this was a low, I wish this would have been green tag, but it was so cute, I had to get it. I got that in a large. And then this, this shirt is really big, but I love a good t-shirt to sleep in, but it says Ice Ice Baby, you guys know I love my iced coffee. I just wanted this to be a comfy, like lounge around the house shirt. And 
It is brand new, still has the tag on it. It was originally $36 from wherever this place is and I got it for $5.44. Can't beat that. And then lastly, I got this shirt. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. I thought this would be super cute with like some high-waisted jeans or shorts. This was $5.44 as well. I love, I love this type of um, sleeves and arms on shirts. So cute. I feel like as I'm getting older, my style is definitely changing right now. Honestly, I don't know what my style is. I'm not a very like trendy person. I don't like to wear what everyone else has on. I've always been like that. Even back when I used to be really big into sneakers and I used to be a huge like sneaker head, I would get new shoes, but I like to get things that were different, like the, what was it? I'm trying to think of the term, the things that people were sleeping on that they weren't aware of. So everybody else is off buying and all of this, but I was like finding the things that no one else was wearing. That's just always how I've been. I guess I'm not really a, a follower, if I can put it. <laughs> I don't like to follow the trends, that's just not me. And I know uh, the thing with trends too, a lot of trends go out and then they come back. So don't, don't get bad out of shape, don't break the bank, go poor trying to keep up with everybody else and what they're wearing. Find your own style, wear what you want to wear, wear what makes you happy. Best piece of advice I can give. And that was everything that I got, but this bag is so cute. And stay tuned for Instagram. I'm gonna do a reel and I'll try on all of those little Goodwill items that I found. So there's a couple things that I want to accomplish today, which I got one of those things done was go to Goodwill, find board games and shorts. I did that. I need to cut my grass. So I'm gonna do that here shortly. And I want to clean up that kitchen so it's all nice and clean before dinner and all of that. So that is another thing on my list. And I also need to get my walk-in for the day. The sun is out now. So I think after I cut the grass and get the kitchen cleaned up, then I'm gonna take my walk. I wanna do those other two things first because I just don't want the day to go on and me not to get them done. So that is my biggest thing on my to-do list is to get that grass cut and to get that kitchen cleaned. And then also I wanted to say really quickly, since you guys know I said I was on a no spend uh, April, I was trying my best not to spend, you know, money on unnecessary stupid things. I know you're probably thinking like, well, Amber, why did you buy stuff from Timu? Like if you're doing a no spend. So I mentioned, I think it was in my grocery haul video. One of these videos, I talked about the fetch um, rewards and how I cash in my points for gift cards. So I cashed in, I had uh, quite a few points I cashed in and I got a gift card. That's what I used the gift card to buy was little Timu things. So I did a virtual gift card. So I went on Timu and I was looking and I was scrolling. I was like, I'm going to use that gift card because I mean, technically it's not my money. It was a gift card. So it's not like I went and used money that was money that I had. Girl math. <laughs> like this cute little autism mom little pen. How cute is this? This was only like 50 cents and I put it right in my jacket because I'm an autism mama. I thought it was cute. I'm here to keep it real with you guys. I'm never gonna lie <laughs> and say that I'm doing something that I'm not, but we are on this journey together. That was the whole point of me sharing and being vulnerable with this whole budgeting thing was we're gonna make mistakes, but we're gonna learn as we go. These little stickers were like a dollar something. So I got all these little cute little autism stickers. My brother is awesome. How cute. There's just so many little fun ones I got for Samir and the kids. They love stickers like I do, and I figured we can put them on like our little cups, their tablets, things like that. And then I got these cute Duncan ones. That one's cute. Some of them are probably a little inappropriate, but they're funny. I mean, we're grown adults. <laughs> like this one. But I thought these stickers were so cute. I like the cute little iced coffee cup. There's so many. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, this little autism mom bracelet. I think this was like a dollar or something. So cute. I'm like obsessed with bracelets right now. These little straw caps. This was a two pack. I think they were a dollar or something. And it was mama and mom. I think I might get my mom one of these. This little keychain was only 50 some cents. I also got their dad. This little autism dad bracelet. 
he likes these kind of things. I thought that was cute. I think that was like a dollar, maybe less. I got this little sunglass holder to go on my visor. I don't remember how much this was. It was super cheap. It was probably under $2 if that. These hair clips, they had like a flash deal. That's how Timu gets you, honestly. But these were, I think, $2. And I love hair clips, but how cute are these little pearl ones? It was a pack of four. Super cute. I got me some more straws. These were like $1.75 because all of my straws disappear because I've shared with you guys before. Part of Samir's stimming is he loves pencils, pens, straws. He will go in the drawers and a lot of my straws disappeared. So this big pack, uh, how many is in there? Two, four, six. I think there's maybe 12, but it was like $1.75 for these. I also got this straw cap too. That was like 50 some cents. I already put it on my cup of water. And I want the straw caps. The reason I like the straw caps, I've had some before. Someone actually gave me some, but the kids lost them. I like to put them on just because I've noticed the kids will come drink out of my cup. And then Lucy like messes with this and I don't want cat hair in my water. <laughs> so I've been putting the straw caps on and they're cute. It's just, you know, I'm not just using it for the aesthetic. I do like to cover my drink, especially if we're outside. That's going to help from stuff falling into my drink. Then I got this little, uh, cash tray. I think this was like two bucks for what I'm doing my cash stuffing. This was one of the challenge envelope binders, envelope binders. This is a thousand dollar one and it comes with everything. I just got to set it up. And then there was this $150 one. See, these little challengers are cute. I do have, what is it, the 100 envelope challenge that I started to stuff into, but these are a little bit more realistic. So if you're starting off something small to start off with and they're cute. And like I said, these were like under $3 or so. I did get me a pair of sunglasses. I'm trying to open this with one hand. Hold on. How cute are those? Super cute. I think these were like two bucks. Cute. I've been wearing like the same pair of sunglasses forever because they're my favorite pair. And my other pair actually got broke. Uh, the kids broke them. And I was like, I need a new pair of sunglasses. I saw these. They have so many sunglasses on Timu for like literally three dollars or under then i got these car decal stickers i thought that this one was super cute to put on the back of my car and i saw these um i was actually on i'm i i'm in this autism mom group and they had these for their car some of them put them on the window where their car their child sat others put them like inside like on the back of the the seat in the front. So Samir sits on the driver's side. He sits behind me. So I saw some people actually put the decal behind that seat in front of the child. I thought, you know, this is actually really smart if something was to happen or there's an emergency. How would they know? You know what I'm saying? If you have an autistic child and especially like Samir, he's nonverbal, this lets them know. I thought that that was really smart. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the outside of my car. I don't, I feel like too many decals on your car. It just looks tacky in my opinion. But I think what I'm going to do is put them inside, like behind the seats that's sitting in front of him so they will know. I also saw that they had, um, I think it was like seatbelt covers that said it as well. But I got two different ones. These were like a dollar. There was this one and then this one. I really kind of like this one, but I got two of them. I know their dad's not going to want one. He's not going to be for putting any of that stuff in his car, but I don't know. I thought that was very smart. You know, when you have a nonverbal child and if there is an emergency, they're not going to know what to do. And then, you know, if they're talking to this child and they're not getting a response, I feel like this is just, it makes me feel better as a mom, you know, with the child that has special needs. So I got those. They're, like I said, a dollar something each. <laughs> then I got this. These were like a dollar. It came with two. I'm going to give my sister-in-law one of these. These uh, cup transfer stickers. How cute are these? I think these were like five something, I want to say. But I thought that they were cute because it had my cheetah leopard in there. So there's this one. And then this one is cute. How cute is that one? This one, and then that one. Then the last thing I got, oh, how cute is this? I got this for my new baby niece or nephew, Little Munchkin. This was like three bucks, and it's actually good quality. I'm honestly impressed. I've gotten a shirt from Timmy when I was disappointed, but it's like hit or miss with anything else you get online. But how cute is that? So cute. Travel.
water, so I'm gonna do that really quick. All I needed to really do in the living room was just pick it up, and then I can move on to the kitchen. And I figured I would clean and set the house first, so that way I wouldn't be exhausted and find a reason to make an excuse after cutting grass and taking a walk. I right, said, so let's do the inside of the house, and then we'll cut the grass, then we'll have our walk. everything. I literally didn't have a lot of um, spring piece of decor. Actually, I have a sign at my door. Now we are done. So we can put this away. I don't decorate for summer. That's one season I will say that I don't get like summer theme stuff. I used to in the past, but not anymore. It's just too much money trying to keep up with all that stuff. Easter, you guys saw, I had like 12 things for Easter. Christmas in the fall is what I really enjoy decorating for, which I will always kind of go all out for those, but all the other seasons and themes and all that, I don't keep up with that stuff. It's just too expensive too. Easter baskets down in the basement because I will honestly probably use the same buckets next year. Why buy new ones? <sighs> save your money, I mean, to be honest, Easter baskets are one thing. I could save my kids. It doesn't matter to them. So I can get away with reusing the same 
tubs. And like I said, this year it felt like the boys stuff was just not existent this year for Easter. But we're gonna go put this all in the basement. Goodbye, spring. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break this out because I'm gonna make my pops but all this other stuff can go in the living room in the craft and book drawer in my cabinet. I feel like my oranges are like going rotted faster than normal. It's weird. Anybody know why that happens? this water. You know what? It looks good. Back in the fridge for the kids to drink. <laughs> Those are there. Those are good. Just a water cup. I don't even know if I probably could use it so I can get washed. All right. So I have a um, the coffee bar decor that I had up, that I got. I want to say back in the summer, I bought all the stuff for the stand at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put that back up on here so it's just not empty, but I do need to wipe this all off first, and then we can get that stuff set up. Let's put it up here. Oh, come on, that's all. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different There we go. As simple as it gets. That's all I need. That's all I'm going to do. It's simple. It has what I need, what I use. There we go. A lot of you um, were giving me recommendations on coffee pots in my last video because I said I'm over this. I like 
hate this coffee maker. I don't get full cups out of it. I've had it for like six years now at this point. A lot of you were saying Mr. Coffee. Some were saying Ninja, Nespresso, but Mr. Coffee was winning. So my question is, anybody that has the Mr. Coffee, there's several different kinds. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about like the traditional coffee pot where it's by itself? Or is there like a single serve one? Let me know. Everybody was just saying Mr. Mr. Coffee Maker. But I uh, looked up and I saw that there was several different versions of Mr. Coffee. So which one are you guys talking about? Next weekend, declutter, clear out the cabinets. All the cabinets need to be wiped down. But I'm not doing that in this video. I'm just picking up as I normally would. Again, to decide so this big one I think I definitely want to do one of these big prints I really like this one 
But I think I'm going to cut off the edge there with the hands. I like this one too. That one's cute. Decide. I'm going to put this one on this cup though. It kind of fits perfect. And again, I'm going to cut off just that little edge part there. This one's so cute too. I can't decide. I guess that's a good thing I got five of them so I can do all the cups. This one's cute too. So this one for sure, I really like that one, but I like this one too. Hmm, tough decisions you guys, they're all cute. I'm going to start with this one, then I'll decide on the big jar. So you guys, <laughs> I thought I hit record and I didn't, so you guys missed the whole process of me doing this cup so we have one more cup to do I'll show you but how freaking cute did this turn out it was way easier this part I started to mess up a little bit because I didn't smooth it out but I just had to lay it back but once you peel that off like once you lay this when you lift it up be careful make sure it is positioned where you want it because you're gonna need to use some type of card or something to smooth it out but Look at that. How freaking cute. All right, I'm gonna make sure I hit record <laughs> and we're gonna make this one. I think I'm gonna go with this print for now. I have another big mason jar I'll do another time, but for now I'm just gonna do these two. All right, it's recorded. I'm so mad that I literally did not turn it on for that one. There's a little sticky mess right there that I didn't lift up, but hey, okay. like I said, trial and error. We're making it at home, so this is where I want it. What I like about these jars is that it has these lines, so I'm using that as like my starting place. So we're gonna get our corner there. And like I said, when you transfer this, make sure you have it where you want it because once you start to lift, there is no going back. <laughs> This is very simple, but you just gotta take your time. I almost messed up that first one. Oh, I'm trying to get the edge, but I I saved it. It's not perfect, but we're learning. Honestly, I considered making a, my own like cup business, but I feel like that's so oversaturated. And why get over on people? I'm here to like teach you guys on um, how we can save money and do stuff ourselves. I don't want to sit here and try to sell things that I'm over here preaching you guys to do yourself. So I'm going to find my starting point. I'm trying to find the middle because I don't want it crooked. Make sure your glass is cleaned off too. These are, I wiped them off before I started. I, I saw on Amazon they have, um, it's like a, a cup rester for you to like stick it on to do these. I thought about getting one. Hopefully this is not crooked. So I got it on. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around and smooth this. Just make sure all the letters and the wording and the picture sticks to the glass because when we pull the sheet off, it's gonna take off this extra. If you see like that film, all of that's gonna come off and it's just gonna leave the words in the pictures. Alright, so 
so I think I pressed it all pretty good. Now we're gonna start to peel off that transfer sheet. Go slow. You see, ooh, it's sticky. But I'm gonna go slow because the last one, I went a little too fast and some of my letters weren't pressed down good enough. Voila, we have our own super cute class tumbler at home. I'm all done. You know what? I'm proud of myself. I literally cut the front in the backyard in 30 minutes and I was done. I did not do any like landscaping stuff. I still have some leaves I need to get up, but I'm going to do that um, another time because I plan to get me some mulch. I need to lay down all new mulch in the front of my house and I actually want to lay some down in my backyard by where that tree is next to the patio area. Uh, but that's going to be a whole another video because I do want to actually spray paint my patio table and chairs out there. I want to spray paint it black. So I plan to do that all in its own video within the next couple of weeks. I want to do it before I have surgery. I have surgery May 24th. So my goal is to get that backyard completely done and ready for summer before surgery because I will be down for a good week or two where I won't be able to do any of that stuff. So that is my goal. But I am all done with cutting the grass. It is now about 2.40. The boys get home at 3.30. <sighs> so I don't have time to go actually leave and walk how I originally wanted to. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk on my treadmill for about an hour just so I can get that workout done and over with for the day and then I can shower and relax for the rest of the evening and just do after school mom things. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and it got you motivated, you enjoyed thrifting. Let me know if you liked going along with me to do thrift shopping. I love thrift shopping. Actually, it's about to be garage sale season. So you guys know what that means. I'm gonna be hitting up some garage sales. You'll have to let me know if you would be interested in me like vlogging garage sales. I love them. So let me know in the comments. I know real soon they're gonna be having like neighborhood wide ones since the weather is getting nice. And I would definitely 
bring you guys along for that. But I hope this video motivated you, inspired you in some type of way, and you enjoyed. And if you are new, make sure you say hello, comment, subscribe, and I hope you stick around and join my family here. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Bye.